Well, this was a state of a waste of state resources because there was nothing new that the president had said. Actually, he's always coming with a new identity of his office. Just in February, we were in Swallows. Today is a different thing altogether. It's very clear that the president has got no plan to transform South Africa for the better. Nothing about international relations because that is a point of disagreement for this GNU. Nothing about the judiciary and nothing about the land. He can't concretely say this is the amount of hectares we are going to give to our people. A pure lie that he created two million jobs which we have never seen as the people of South Africa. So we spoke to, he spoke to us in February, he comes, speaks to us on the same useless things that he's non-committal. If you look at that uh, parliament today, the happiest people is white people in that parliament. The happiest people is the DA, because it's the biggest winner out of this uh, GNU sellout uh, government. President Ramaphosa has once more sold out South Africa, like he did in 1994, when he did not attend Nelson Mandela's inauguration, which today he speaks very highly of him for opportunistic reasons. So we as the EFF are going to consolidate the progressive forces in this parliament and make sure that we hold this government accountable. Well, the starting point is to say President Ramaphosa is a... Let me put it this way. He is a sophisticated liar, right? And uh, who can lie with a very straight face? He knows no bounds when it comes to lying. The suggestion that his government has created more than two million jobs for all South Africans, we know that is a lie. And I, can, I fail to see on what conceivable grounds he can justify the GNU in circumstances where there is no crisis in the country to begin with. The GNU was a deliberate and desperate attempt by the ANC of Ramaphosa to retain power. That's what it's all about. And everybody is excited because of the blue lies of Brigham. We are truthful to our voters. We said all along we are not going to be part of the ANC government that is led by Cyril Ramaphosa. For that reason, we have nothing to do with the GNU, and today we launch our own forum, the progressive parties who are outside the GNU, trying to strengthen our own opposition. I think it was a very good synthesis of the manifestos of the parties to the GNU. Very different speech to the one in February, which was obviously an ANC speech. This one incorporating some of the manifesto points that that the Democratic Alliance and other parties had made. And we're very grateful to see it. I think it was very sober putting forward of what we need to focus on. Economic growth that is inclusive, that creates jobs, that fights poverty, and keeping in place social safety nets to ensure that South African citizens who are, uh, are vulnerable are protected. Um, I'm very pleased to see things, for instance, like the expansion of the basket of, uh, of vet-free goods. That's going to help put more food at a better price on the table of more South Africans. I'm very, very pleased to see some of the stuff around fuel levies and the like. I'm very pleased to see the stuff around policing, using technology to police in a modern way. We're already doing that in the Western Cape, in the city of Cape Town. And I think particularly for rural crime, the use of drone technology is going to be a game changer. Being able to patrol large areas where stock theft and farm attacks on farmers and farm workers have become a huge problem.